Yes, it's right. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Manveer Kaur and I am an aerospace engineer. I'm working with Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited as the aviation manager. So today the topic for my presentation is radio telephone procedure. So this is my brief introduction. If you wish, you can follow me on social media also. You can connect me through these links. So let's get started with the today's topic. So what is basically a radio telephone procedure? Radio telephony procedure is also on an on air protocol and voice procedure, which includes various techniques used to clarify, simplify and standardize spoken communications over two way radios in use by the armed forces in civil aviation, police and fire dispatching system, citizens band radio and amateur radio. Voice procedure communications are intended to maximize clarity of spoken communication and reduce errors in the verbal message by use of an accepted nomenclature. It consists of a signaling protocol, such as the use of abbreviated codes like the CV radio, 10 code, Q codes in a major radio and aviation, police codes, etc., and jargon. So this is how a radio telephone look like. This is a variety of portable handheld two-way radios for the private use. So radio telephony procedures encompass international regulations, official procedures, technical standards, and commonly understood conventions intended to ensure efficient, reliable, and interoperable communications via all modes of radio communications. The most well-developed and public procedures are contained in the Combined Communications Electronics Board's Allied Communications Procedure. These procedures consist of many different components. The three most important ones are, the first one is voice procedures, that means what to say. Second one is speech technique, that means how to say it. And the third one is microphone technique, that means how to say it on a microphone. So this picture shows a naval air traffic controller communicates with aircraft over a two-way radio handset. So here you can see a clear picture of a handset, one over his ear through which he is communicating and through the screen, he is navigating the, the position of the aircraft. The voice procedures is designed to provide the fastest and most accurate method of speech transmission. All messages should be pre-planned, brief, and straightforward. Ideally, messages should be written down. Even brief notes reduce the risk of errors. Messages should be constructed clearly and logically in order not to confuse the recipient. Voice procedure is necessary because, first, speech on a congested voice net must be clear, concise, and ambiguous. To avoid interference between speech and data, it will often be expedient to assign the passage of data traffic to logistic or admin nets rather than to those directly associated with command and control. Second, it must be assumed that all transmissions will be intercepted by a portion of the civilian population. The use of a standard procedure will help reduce the threat of spreading rumors or creating panic among those not involved in an emergency response. The third importance is some from form of discipline is needed to ensure that transmissions do not overlap. If two people send traffic at the same time, the result is chaos. So this is a picture. It is a mobile citizen band radio in a truck. There are several main methods of communication over radio, and they should be used in this order of preference. The first comes as procedure words. Next is standard or predefined phraseology. That is for most things in aviation and maritime use. 
Next comes is plain language dialogue, which is for things that can't be handled by phraseology. Next to that we have is formal messages, and then it is followed by narrative messages. Next is dialogue, that is a normal conversation between people. The last one comes is brevity quotes, including ten quotes and Phillips quotes, and operating signals, including ninety-two quotes, Q quotes, and Z quote, should be used as a last choice. As these lists of quotes are ex so extensive that it is unlikely that all participants have full and correct definitions memorized. All of those listed here, except the ten quote, are designed exclusively for use in Morse code or teletype writer use, and thus unsuitable for those on voice circuit. So this picture is the VHF marine radio on a ship. And next to that, we have a photograph, which is a two-way radio in a fire truck, which is used by firefighters to communicate with the dispatcher. So how is this voice transfer goes like? So this is a duplex means two channels are used, one in each direction. So here we can see the input signaling as well as the output signaling through which a repeater cabinet is used to transfer the signal from one form to the another form. So here we have a brief labeling of a radio telephone. So first here we have an antenna, which is whip antenna. Next to that, we have LED lights, which flashes when it is in use. Next to that, we have a 16 channel frequency selector knob. Then we have a channel frequency indicator. Then there is a volume control on or off knob through which we can control the volume. Then next we have a three position zone selector that is positioned into three, that is A, B, or C. Then next to that we have a purple button that is light button which is in purple color. After that we have a squelt button which is gray in color. Just below that we have a another gray blue gray button which is used to disable. Then just below that we have a big brown gray button. This is used as push to talk button. Then at the back side, there are speakers and just above that, there is a small microphone attached to it. Then the orange button here is for emergency alert button. Then next, near the LED lobe, we have concentric switch. And after that, we have a remote mic connection. And at last, we have a lock screw for remote or smart mic. So this is the brief labeling. So this is a photograph which is of Motorola Moto Turbo Repeater DR3000 with duplexer mounted in fly flight case. This is 100% duty cycle and up to 40, 40 volt output. So this is my bio. You can connect me on the social media also through the given links. So that was all about the today's topic. I hope you would like it. Thank you so much for listening to me.